Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been like a long time coming, but your girl is here. She's back and ready to go. For today's look, I kind of did like a little bit of a cut crease with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. Um, I kind of talk about like basically where I've been. Like it's just been a hot mess. And if you want to see how I got this look, please keep watching. Okay, as y'all know, I do my eyebrows off camera just to save like a little bit of time. But today we're going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. I'm so obsessed with this palette. You can see like I digged into it just like a little bit. Um, I don't know what look exactly I'm going to do. But we're going to do something, okay? Um, I kind of want to do like a cut crease because I haven't done a cut crease in so long. But with more of these colors, because I kind of like natural. I don't like a natural cut crease. I'm just, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend everything and see where we go from there. Okay, so I'm just taking a burnt orange, I mean orange soda right here, it's a hot one right here. And I'm just blending that into my creases, our transition shape. But yeah, I kind of wanted to do this video and talk about where I've been. Um, I stopped making videos back in February just because I felt a little bit um, discouraged. I wasn't where I wanted to be with YouTube because I think I said this before that I wanted to make a living off YouTube because that's like where I started basically. Um, my cousin, who is also a makeup artist, who's in my several videos, she always did my makeup for prom and homecomings and turnabouts and all that. Um, so I bought the products that she put on me, and then on YouTube, I learned how to do it from there. And everyone always asks me how I started learning makeup, and that's basically how I started. I started on YouTube. I looked up everything, how to use a dip brow, how to fill in your eyebrows, how to blend your eyes with eyeshadow not easy but it's not hard either um so that was that i just i'm not where i want to be i've been doing youtube for like a year now and i still don't have a camera off me because i'm so broke but it's okay like i'll get there one day um i'm totally fine with recording on my phone obviously like i've been doing it for a while i am wearing a shirt <laughs> for anyone just trying to be nosy out there um but yeah i felt like discouraged i felt like i wasn't where i wanted to be and now I kind of want to start getting back into it a little bit because, like, I have a little bit more free time, I guess. Um, I am still trying to study for my licensing exam for to be an esthetician. But other than that, I do work and do makeup on other people. But I want to do it mostly on myself now. Again, like I was doing. <laughs> and, so dusty. I also went through a little bit of a breakup back in February. Um, so that was kind of hard on me as well. Like, I didn't really want to do anything. Um, I kind of just was like, I don't know. I didn't know what I wanted to be. Um, but I know who I am. I know my worth. I know, you know, I know a lot more now than I did before. I'm not saying being in a relationship is bad or anything. But if you're in a relationship, make sure you're with the right one. That's all I'm saying. But, yeah. That was that. And I was just going out and partying and, you know, I'm 21, so I don't really go out and um, view the scene outside of where I live. So, yeah, I was doing that. And I still do that mostly, most of the time I go out. Um, but, yeah, that's that. You know, relationships suck. And if you're old but young, because I'm still 21, I still have my whole life ahead to find a man. But, you know... If I don't, I don't. And it's okay. There's other fish in the sea. So I had to get over that real quick. Like, I did not need to be stuck on nobody. So, yeah, that's that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change to Sienna. I think that's how you say it. This color right here. And we're going to go ahead and work that into our crease as well. Same brush. This is a Morphe M433 brush. I love it because it's kind of domed shape. It's not an actual blending brush. It just has a little right there. And you can tell like it's a good one for your crease. So let's go ahead and dust off the excess because there's a lot. Yeah. And plus I've been reading like a lot, not a lot, but I've been reading a book about like, um, which it's like with less drama in them. Those books are like drama free relationships. Um, this one I read in particular. Well, I did read, I, was, I finished reading it a long time ago. Um, that kind of helped me to see my worth and everything. Uh, you can't just be with anyone out there. You have to be with someone that is going to respect you and, you know, 
all that good shit. But right now, I am just focusing on myself. I uh, necessarily don't want to be with anyone at the moment. Am I gonna give people a chance? Maybe. But we shall see. It's a new year. The year started about 12 months ago, but it's okay. Uh, we're getting to summer over here. And yeah, we'll just see where life takes me. You know what I mean? I want to make this a little bit darker. So far it looks good, but I know I can go a little darker in the future. So yeah, I want to kind of get back into like uh, Makeup Mondays. Where I try to record a video every Monday when I can. I was doing really good, but obviously I stopped because, you know. Shit happens. And I still want to do my giveaway. I remember my giveaway. I want to do it when I reach 100 subscribers. Right now I checked and I'm still getting subscribers even though I'm not doing nothing. Um, I believe I have 97, but I said when I get to 100, I'll do a giveaway. And I still really want to do that. I am down to do that. I think we're just going to go with a little tad darker and use a different brush. This is from Vanity Planet. I just got it like in their little set. And then we're going to take Mulberry, is what it's called, the end color right here. And I'm going to put that into like outer corner and then like slowly start to blend it up just so it doesn't look like a freaking hot mess. I love this palette so much. That's good. Not to go too too dark. Like this either. I'm even gonna cut the crease. I am gonna do it today. Like I am. Mhm. Mm also, if you hear construction in the background, um, they're building a house next door to me. I'm sorry. Yes, so I already applied my lashes and I cut my crease. Add a little like black to the outer corners. I think it looks good. <laughs> so I'm gonna use um, my favorite foundation. It's the Maybelline Fit Me. I use the shade 120 plus of ivory. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use a foundation brush. This is the Real Techniques. It's the angled one. It's like for cream contour, but I use it because it's angled. I can get like right under your eyes and shit. I may prime my face. I use the Smashbox Photo Ready um, <laughs> Primer. That's what it's called. I'm just gonna use my finger. I haven't done 
I'm just like so appalled how I haven't done a video in so long. I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying anymore. I don't even know how to act. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make the video as short as possible so you guys can know where I'm at right now. I am going to try my best to make videos or vlog something. Oh, I also, your girl's been going to the gym. <laughs> I haven't seen a difference yet. I mean, I've been going for a while now. Um, I try to eat right as much as I can, but it's hard when you're Hispanic and you love the tacos and shit. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to eat healthier as much as I can. I do have my cheat days. I'm not going to sit here and try to lie and say I'm the healthiest person in the world. Because I'm not. I do have my cheat days and I love my pasta. And I love pizza. And I love tacos. And whatnot. So yeah. But I plan on doing like a gym video for beginners. Like a couple workouts for beginners I should say. Because that's kind of where I started. Um, and I was like how the hell do I do this? And I have really bad anxiety when it comes to going to the gym by myself. So I don't go to the gym by myself. That's why I really never go. Because I'm always waiting for someone to go with me. Which is okay because I love working out with someone else. Um, right now I'm working out with my good friend. And we're kind of like at the same pace. We're kind of at the same level. We want to lose weight and look good and get fit and get toned. So I'm excited for maybe next summer. Couldn't hit it this summer because I was too late. <laughs> but yeah, I'm maybe going to vlog at the gym. Uh, do a couple like videos I look really white but it's okay your girl will fix it but yeah that's what I wanted to do maybe like next week or next month for concealer I'm going to use the Urban Decay Naked Skin I am in the shade light warm I'm going to take that underneath my eyes one eye at a time at least um, and I'm gonna use the same angled brush just because again, uh, it gets like really like in there really good. And also I have oily skin, so if you have oily skin, you don't. Well, you don't. I said I don't say don't, but you can if you want. Um, use a beauty blender, but you're adding more like excess water to your skin, and your eyes mostly, and they get oily in your T zone. You don't want to add all that moisture to your skin. You want to keep it matte. But I'm just gonna push in. The product without adding extra moisture like so and it still looks good it doesn't look cakey or anything if you do it right it does not look cakey so that's one side i'm gonna go ahead and the other and i also do one side at a time because um i'm so scared the concealer is gonna dry out <laughs> and then i'm gonna have to like dig into my skin to blow the shit out it happened to me one time i think it was the Tarte concealer I did both eyes at the same time and I tried blending them out and one just like dried out <laughs> and I had to like take it off and do it again it sucked but yeah I just kind of like bounce it on my face a little bit and blend up and then I blend this way because if you blend this way right here it kind of gives you like a lift right there an eye lift a secret eye lift And I add the excess to the high points of my face. Like so. Okay, so now that I look like a ghost, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and set our face. I'm going to be using the MAC um, Studio. Care Blend Pressed Powder, which one? It's in the shade Medium. My sister gave it to me because it was too light for her or something like that. So now I use it. So I use it under my eyes. Just to set it. Under my eyeballs. Just so I don't have like any flashback. It's a darker color because I do use the Airs one. I ran out though. Uh -oh. But that shit gives me flashback like no tomorrow. So I'm trying to find a good uh, like drugstore powder, setting powder that does not give you flashback. So if you know, look it up. 
little girl, what's your girl now? My pores are huge now that I'm looking in the mirror. My pores are really huge. Okay, though. I'm gonna take a bigger brush from Bedding Planet and do my whole face with this powder. I always touch my face, making sure it's set because it was still like you know what for the console a slip and slide and it looked really nasty right here. So make sure your face is set before you put extra powders on there. Okay. And then for a console, we're going to use this. I just got this from a friend. It is a Smashbox, a step-by-step -step contour palette. This right here. It's really pretty. I use a middle shade to bronze up because I don't really contour, contour a lot. Like people say you're supposed to contour in the bronze. No, I bronze and bronze only. And I call that my contour. So I'm going to take that middle shade. I really like it. It's like a good, good bronzy color. Mm -hmm. Get into those cheekbones. That's why I like it. Especially with the fan brush. Just that shit right in there. Onto my big fat forehead. I think I have a fat forehead. Whew. Contour's gonna be hot. I make the ugliest faces when I contour and shit. I feel like both of them see how they work. My jawline, my nose. I don't really contour my nose because when I do, it doesn't even make it small. Like the illusion it's supposed to give. It makes it fucking, it makes it bigger. It makes my nose bigger when I do both. Like, what the fuck? It's supposed to make it smaller, make it smaller, not bigger. I don't really have the nose, I have a wide nose, as I should be saying. Mm -hmm. Should I move on my eyes? Um, I'm just gonna take this white shade right here Dust it over my eyes, just give me like a little bit of color right here. Give it right where it's supposed to be. Okay, once that's drawn, I'm gonna go ahead and try to do my blush now. Um, for blush, I still use the Milani Luminoso blush, it's my go to blush. I haven't run out yet, it used to be like a little bit higher right here where like the little hump is, and now it's getting low. But I haven't dropped it yet either. I have not dropped it yet. It's like, because it's like a nice warm color. It's like a sandy color. It's really nice. It just warms up the cheeks, but the nose. You see how warm my cheek looks? Like, it's very summery. I used to use like a mauve tone color from, I think it was NYX and e.l.f. when I first started doing makeup. My ride or die blush. And I switched to this one because it's like more warm. It's more natural looking color. See, it looks even, it makes you look so glowy and like happy. Um, for highlight, I use my highlight. It's very dangerous right now. I dropped it. It's my Ofra Cosmetics highlighter. Ofra Cosmetics, if you need this, want to hook a girl up with a new highlighter, feel free to hit me up in my DMs. But it's literally broken. I put alcohol in it as well. But I still take it with me everywhere. I just came back from a uh, vacation, kind of. And I still took it with me. So look how blinding it is.
Look at how I love this highlighter so much. This is my favorite. It's Rodeo. I think it's called Rodeo Drive or Rodeo Drive. I think it's Rodeo Drive and I say it like Rodeo is an idiot. But this is absolutely my favorite highlighter ever. Take with me everywhere and I use it everywhere. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Now that that's done, I'm just gonna fix my eyebrows now. So it'll look a little higher than the other. Um I go ahead and add some clear gel to my eyebrow when I finish just to keep like the hair in place. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and add that. I'm gonna use my camera hairs right here. Okay, so for lips, I do really have like a go-to lip combination. I'll do like a black, a black, I'll do a brown lip pencil. Mine's really small because my other one's in my purse. But this one's from Ulta. This was my go-to. I used to go to Ulta all the time. This is about like $8. Buy one, get one, half off, whatever. Um, it's like from the Ulta collection and it is called Spice, like contour lip pencil. I use it to make my lips bigger. So, you know, my top lip is smaller than my bottom, but it's okay. So I use that, and then I use a lighter color in the middle, so basically I'm doing like an ombre. Or if you want to call it like a chola lip, I really don't care. I'm doing an ombre right here. And I fill in the middle. All the outside edges. Okay, now I'm going to take my Desi X Katie collection, um, no shade lipstick, and use like a little bit that time. Just to get somewhat lighter in the middle. Mm -hmm. I kind of mix it all together. Mm. Now go ahead again with the lip pencil, uh, go back over. I'm gonna mix it all. Yeah. I told you I don't like or about the Desi X Katie. Once you get it into the center. And if your lips are crusty, say you forgot to put your lips uh lipstick, you're you're done. <laughs> Cannot use that lipstick, it'll make your lips look so crusty. And then I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Cosmetics uh, lip injection glass. It actually does wonders for my lips. Um so the thing is when you put it on it plumps up your lips, it moves the lip gloss to your outer rim of your lips to make your lips look bigger. But I'll take it. Okay. I'm going to spray my face with the NYX Cosmetic Matte Finish Spray. My favorite spray. Okay. Let's keep me all set. Okay, so this is how it looks. Mm -hmm. Looks super glowy and cute or oh, whatever. Um, thank you so much for being like patient with me. <laughs> I know I'm like always off and on, off and on doing this stuff, but now I'm trying to get back at it, trying to get to the flow of things. Um, this looks very easy to do. And just using the soft glam palette, you know, girl, this palette is everything. It's worth money. It's worth everything. Um, these suits are confirmed to me one. And yeah. Hope you like this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Look out for my giveaway because 100 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway and I will try to do another video for Makeup Mondays next Monday. I know today's Tuesday, but girl. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye.